In this video, I want to look at smart factories and trends that every manufacturing organization needs to be ready for today. Data, AI and the industrial Internet of Things. We will have more interconnected devices to collect data and we can use this data to enhance the manufacturing process. So for example, data gathered from sensors on machines can help manufacturers understand how machines are performing, optimize the maintenance process, reduce machine downtime and even predict when things will go wrong. 5G and edge computing. The fifth generation of mobile data network technology will enable manufacturers to easily connect their IoT technology and collect and process data within devices such as smart machines and sensors which we refer to as edge computing when more of the collection and processing of the data takes place on the device. And nowadays manufacturers can create private 5G networks on their premises which will give them super fast data speeds without the need for cables and much improved data security. Here we will use sensor data to detect when a machine or part is likely to fail so manufacturers can take preventative action and maintain their equipment more effectively. For example, Siemens has used such sensors on even older motors and transmissions and by analyzing the data they can now fix machines before they fail. So it doesn't need to be brand new material uh, machines, we can use that on older equipment too. Digital twins. Digital twins can be used to simulate any physical process or object. So in manufacturing a digital twin could be used to create a digital replica of the equip equipment on the factory floor to see how machinery operates under certain conditions. It can even be used to visualize and simulate an entire supply chain. Boeing CEO said digital twins could be the biggest driver of production efficiency improvements over the next decade. For example, the company has been able to achieve a 40% improvement rate in first-time quality of parts. Extended reality. Extended reality technology such as augmented and virtual reality will play an increasingly important part in manufacturing. From enhanced product design, better production planning, augmenting human abilities on the assembly lines and more immersive training. At GE's factory in Florida, for example, workers assembling their wind turbines wear augmented reality glasses that display digital instructions on how to install parts correctly. And Honeywell found that their passive learning experience didn't really lead to great knowledge retention and by using virtual reality it improved it from something like 30% or less to an impressive 80% of knowledge retention. As more of the world extends into the metaverse, more opportunities will arise for manufacturers to use extended reality technology. Automation and dark factories. Dark factories are basically fully automated sites where production happens without direct human intervention on the site. We will see more of this, but also more working with robots. So we see the use of robotic exoskeletons that can help those on the production line lift heavier parts without compromising their safety. And we have collaborative intelligent robots or cobots that are specifically designed to work alongside humans. So for example, Nissan uses cobots to help employees install engine intakes, for example. 3D printing and additive manufacturing. Basically, 3D printing means we can use fewer material and less waste than in traditional manufacturing methods. And I believe 3D printing will also drive a new era of personalization because individually personalized products can be made without worrying about economics of scale. Plus, 3D printing can help to drive innovations by allowing rapid prototyping. 
Airbus has been using 3D printing technology for more than 15 years and it uses it extensively for localized on-demand production of toolings such as jigs and fixtures. Web3 and blockchain technology. With the emergence of Web3 and distributed computing technology such as blockchains and NFTs, there will be opportunities for manufacturers to better monitor their supply chains and even automate many of the transactions along their supply chains. Also, many of the products that we will manufacture in the future will be sold with NFTs. And we've already seen this, that Alfa Romeo is now selling their cars with NFTs. And my last trend is smarter, more sustainable product and production processes. Today there are smart versions of everything from vacuum cleaners to toilets and therefore manufacturers will increasingly have to explore ways of giving customers the intelligent products they expect. This also means we will offer more services alongside our products. We are seeing this in cars, for example, where we add on services like maintenance, charging, roadside assistance and infotainment packages. What's more, customers will increasingly gravitate towards products that are sustainable, reusable and recyclable which includes the entire supply chain. And what we are now seeing is instead of having these mega factories that are producing um, things far away and then we have long supply chains, we'll have more smaller uh, pop-up factories. We're seeing this in Hyundai who is producing, uh, creating these little smaller pop-up factories. And in the UK, a company called Arrivals has com completely reimagined the manufacturing of delivery vans, for example, and they are able to create these pop-up factories in less than six months, which much more streamlined, uh, streamlined supply chains. For more on these future trends, subscribe to my channel or have a look at my books, Business Trends in Practice and Tech Trends in Practice.